Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square A, B, C, D. And this square is subdivided into three portions. And one portion is a right triangle A, C, E. A green right triangle with legs uh, 1 and 2 uh, units. And the hypotenuse is the side of the square. And another uh, portion is the uh, yellow triangle which has a uh, one side to be the leg of the green uh, right triangle the two unit segment CE and another uh, uh, segment is from from E to D uh, from the uh, 90 degree angle of this uh, right triangle is connected to uh, the side uh, the point uh, at the bottom of the square so that is the segment and the other segment is uh, the side of the uh, square at the bottom CD and the remaining part uh, is the blue part uh, and we are required to find the area of that portion A, B, D, E okay so our idea for this problem is a uh, simple so we just have to uh, write an equation about the area of the square so area is equal to the area of the square which is s square if we denote the side as s okay so s and we subtract the area of the two triangles so one triangle is the green so one half times the base could be two because uh, this is already a right triangle, the green one, so 2 base times height, and height is 1, with minus uh, 1 half times S for the base of the yellow. Uh, we can consider the, the base as the yellow, and the height is actually this unknown length, so unknown length which is the perpendicular segment from the top. Uh, of the triangle, we have the triangle point E downwards. So we can label this as uh, A. So and this uh, point should we can label this as F. So A S A. And if we simplify further, we have area is equal to S square, and we cancel this minus uh, one minus uh, one half. S A and we set aside this uh, equation. Okay, so as you can see, we just need to find the value of our A. Uh, this value of A is actually we can actually uh, draw a line and project it uh, here. Okay, so and this uh, length should be also A. And uh, to get this uh, length A, uh, we just need to uh, use similarity of this uh, triangle. So, uh, for if we focus uh, on this uh, uh, two triangles, this triangle uh, ACE, and this uh, triangle, the smaller triangle, so let's label this point as G. So let's uh that next time that is uh ECG. Okay, so with respect to an angle this at C uh, we can actually uh, uh compare these uh, two triangles A C E and E C G uh using this uh, ratio the uh opposite I mean the adjacent, let's use the adjacent, adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay, I will adjacent over the hypotenuse, so for ACE, we have the uh, adjacent to be uh, to this angle at C, adjacent to be uh, to, and the hypotenuse is actually uh, S, the side of the square. So 2 over S. So for ECG, for on the other hand, for ECG, 
the adjacent side with respect to this angle at C is A. And the hypotenuse is 2. So uh, earlier we said we need to get a value of A. So we just need to cross multiply. So we have A is equal to 2 times 2 over S. Or simply A is equal to 4 over S. Okay, so going back to the original uh, equation for the area of this uh, uh, blue shaded region. So we just need to substitute the value of A or the representation for A that we got. So area is equal to S squared minus 1 minus 1 half times uh, S times uh, 4 over S. Okay, so and we just need to cancel this. S and S, so and this 4 over 2 is 2. So we have here area is equal to S square uh, minus 1 minus 2. And simplifying, we have area is equal to S square minus 3. But as you can see on the green triangle, uh, S square is the area of the square and also the hypotenuse of this uh, uh, green triangle squared. So the hypotenuse squared, so area is simply uh, for S. We have here uh, 1 square and plus 2 square. Okay, that is the hypotenuse squared. So minus 3. So we have area. It's equal to this becomes uh, 4 plus 1, this is 5, minus 3. So we have 2 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.